So far, we have learned how to create a Google Classroom. We have learned how to create classes in our Google Classroom, and we have learned how to invite students into our Google Classroom. Today, we're going to learn how to stay in contact with our parents using Google Classroom, and they have a really good way of doing this. So let's go into our class and go to our students page. And as a reminder, we can invite our students to the code that we give them or through an email. And these students has, have already joined the class, so their names are already here. Okay, if we want to include a guardian email, we're going to click on, it says include this class in guardian email summaries. So we're going to click on this. And that will open a new window and it says add class to guardian email summaries. And if I want to do that, it says add all the classes you teach to the guardian email. If you want to add them all, and I would add them all, I would just click on that and say add class. And now all my classes will have the option to email the guardians and add them to their students' classes. It also tells you once the guardian joins, they will see only their students' work and class announcement, announcements and no one else's. So I've invited the parents. This one here is an example of what the parents will see when they open their students' um, Google account. They're going to see missing work. They're going to see upcoming work, any class activity that we've done that day, any announcements that have been posted to that page, the parents can see. And that's a good thing for the parents, so for kids, when the kids come home and say, the parents ask them, what'd you do today? And they say, oh, nothing. Well, they can log into Google Classroom and they can see exactly what the students have done that day and what assignments are due and what assignments need to be caught up on. And we go back to the class. There are other actions that you can have with your students. If I click on the student, let's say I click on my first student. There are actions that I can have with that student such as I can email that student if I want to send them a personal email about something. If the student has moved or gone to a different class, I can remove the student. Or if the student is writing inappropriate things in Google Classroom that don't have to do with the topic at hand, I can mute them and they will not be allowed to or they will not be able to add comments to that Google Classroom page. So you have three actions you can do for each student as well if you need to. So all of those things are under students and under the, the um, email options for each student. And you can click on as many students as you need to do that for or just the one. It all depends on what you need to do with that student in that class. So that's how you invite your guardians to be a part of Google Classroom and keep up with their student in your classroom. And as a reminder, they can only see their child's progress. They can't see anybody else in the class and nobody else can see theirs.